Hello, my friend. How are you? A world away from what he's used to. Sky Sports News followed Europe's Ryder Cup captain to West Africa for a behind-the-scenes look at growing golf in Ghana. After the miracle at Medina, Paul McGinley is hoping to continue the legacy with glory at Glen Eagles, creating another legacy in Africa is a project close to his heart. This is only the beginning of the new future of golf in Ghana. McGinley spent around a month and a half in Ghana last year making seven visits, a hands-on approach, targeting businesses and crucially youth development by offering free lessons to juniors. McGinley and his team are responsible for three new academies and he's overseeing a multi-million pound overhaul of the capital city's only golf club. It's a project came about through Tullawile, Irish based oil exploration company that have done very well throughout the world, particularly here in Africa. They feel there's a great legacy of golf down here, back to the 1920s, 1930s, uh, when it was an old colonial country, and, and, and actually the designs of a lot of the courses are very good. So there's a great history of golf down here, but unfortunately over the years, you know, because of the lack of wealth, there's been a, a lot of the courses have been run down. Today McGinley is visiting his academy in Achimota, a district of the capital city Accra. So we decided among me, along with the rest of the team that you know what, why don't we just scarify the grass off everywhere, all of the areas except the greens which we will remain irrigated um, and leave that red look. Um, so when we did that um, we thought wow this looks great and as you can see it's very firm as well too so the ball will bounce on it and there's no problem, there's no problem um, picking the balls up or when, when the rains come getting uh, getting saturated, um, it, it, it dries out very quickly. To give you an example of what the greens were like before we started doing the golf course here, which is just over the trees, these are the kind of surfaces they were putting on. Um, really, the worst tee boxes back home will be in better condition than this, and this was the, the kind of greens that they were putting on. So we're gonna provide a much better surface for them to, to put on. There used to be a small little area down the corner where the pros used to give lessons, and they used to hit, give lessons off dirt. Um, so we've regenerated the whole thing. As you can see, it's turned out really well. This is the Ghanaian yeah, handshake. Yeah, yeah. Then down, down, and then goes down. Yeah. Yeah. The role of the local pros is a key one. They will educate young Ghanaian golfers of the future. McGinley has formed a close relationship with them. The standard of play down here has blown me away. They play in a, a Seve kind of mould or Angel Cabrera kind of mould. You know, it's, it's all kind of very natural and shaping the shots and moving the ball around. And they don't study the technique a huge amount. It's all about feel and touch. McGinley will be Ryder Cup royalty at Glen Eagles next year. It seems his work here has met the Ghana Royal Seal of Approval. The King is a keen golfer. I've played with him a number of times. He's, I think he's a 12 handicap and a good 12 handicapper. After a game of golf, uh, on two or three occasions, he's invited us for lunch back to the palace. And uh, that's a great experience because you play with him in the morning and he's wearing a nice pair of Bermuda shorts and a Sunningdale t-shirt and uh, plays golf in such an elegant way. And then you go for his lunch, uh, you know, four hours later when he's done his bit of work and you go and see him for lunch and he's in his tribal gear and he's holding a spear sitting on a throne. And you go, well, then it really hits you as to uh, what you're dealing with. One of your duties as Ryder Cup captain is to choose the attire to wear. Any ideas? You've picked up some ideas from here? Yeah, no, I don't think we'll be wearing the dresses that the tribe leaders wear down here now and we won't be carrying spears either now. I think the excitement is so huge that there's a whole delegation that is planning to go to get Glen Eagles to watch the Ryder Cup. And uh, I can tell you we'll all be dressed up in um, Irish flag, in our T-shirts, Paul McGinley, you know, from Ghana. You know, I think Ghanaians are really excited about it. Excitement at the thought of success in 2014 at Glen Eagles and in Ghana for Europe and for Africa. Paul Gilmore, Sky Sports, Accra. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Paul is correct. Congratulations.